Hi, and welcome to Engineering Essentials AutoCAD Instruction. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at tracking, both polar tracking and object snap tracking. Both of these can be turned on and off in the status bar. This one here is polar tracking. You can turn it on and off by clicking on it. And this is object snap tracking. Let's start with polar tracking. Let's say we wanted to draw a line, start anywhere, and we wanted to draw it at a zero degree angle or horizontal. All you have to do is move your mouse until you get that tracking line and then type in the value you want the line to be. So we'll make it three units long. You can do the same going at a 90 degree angle. And you'll notice that it also snaps to a 45. So 0, 45, 90. What if you want to draw a line at an angle that's not 0, 90, or 45? You can change that. If you type polar ang, you can set the angle increment at anything you want. So let's do 15 here. All right, so I'll do another line. And you'll notice that now we have, oh, let me turn my object snap tracking off. We're not ready to talk about that yet. So we have 180, 15 degrees below that, 30 degrees, and so on. So now our increment is smaller. All right, so let's talk about object snap tracking. What if I wanted to make this line 30 degrees below the horizontal and have it end at the midpoint of this line? Well, we can do that using object snap tracking. All right, so I'm going to turn that back on. And what I want to do is acquire the midpoint of the bottom line. So I've acquired it. I'll go up, and you can see a line is helping me. All right, and now we can have a polar tracking line as well as an object snap tracking line. All right, we click there, and we can do the same on this side. So I want to acquire the end point, and there we go, and we can finish it. All right, so we can also have temporary tracking points, and that is enabled by typing TT into the command window. So I'm going to draw another line. And let's say I want to draw a line that is a vertical to this intersection here and also acquire the midpoint of that line. So now I have the midpoint and the vertical line and I want that to be a temporary tracking point. So I'm going to go TT click that. So now I have that tracking point as well. So I can use that. Oh, it disappeared. So let me try that again. TT. And we'll click there. So now I have three tracking points. You see that cross, the midpoint, and the endpoint. And I can choose to do whatever I want with it. All right. So play around with those features, and I'll catch you in the next episode.